now, though, we're looking forward to Courtney Force, Jeff Ferren. Jeff Ferren's last win, Chicago 2012, over Courtney. That was her first final. But he also won here back in 1996, driving a Paul Smith tuned car. Courtney's number one in your power rankings. Yeah, but I'm, I'll tell you what, I'm not counting anybody out, especially Jeff Ferren. I mean, they went down the racetrack twice on Friday and then just sat out and said, hey, we're good. We're ready to race on Sunday. So, with the conditions the way they are, I mean, anything can happen. Opportunity to get closer to the funny car point lead. That is what's at stake for Courtney. Oh, but it's not going to happen. Man. What is going on with John Force racing funny cars today? All John's out. Up. Robert's out. Courtney is out. Man. Jeff Arendt takes the win 459-8. Mike, you're talking about these conditions. You take nothing for granted today. No, and the key is, like I said, getting off of the starting line. And obviously, Courtney didn't uh, do that. But look how sideways Courtney got that. Had the cockpit completely smoked in. I guarantee she couldn't even see that wall when that thing was making that right turn towards it. But she could feel it. She corrected it and uh, stayed off it. But man, that thing was pretty sideways as she was trying to catch Jeff Arend to no avail. Well, the last time all John Force Racing Funny Cars were out this early, you got to go back to Bristol 2012. They were a four car team then, but from Courtney Force to John Force to Robert Hyde, they're all on the trailer today at Maple Grove. When we come back, we'll talk to that very frustrated Traxxas driver.